All right, guys, I'm here with Casey Williams. He's going to walk us through a little bit of 12-week programming before a meet. So, Casey, let's start at uh, 12 weeks out from the meet and show me what kind of programming you're doing for yourself right now. So I'll break the, I'll break the max effort stuff down into two six-week waves. Okay. Um, easiest way, and, and I'll, I'll rotate within those certain exercises. I'll kind of just go by feel what feels good that week um, or what I feel like setting up or whatever it would be. But they don't change too much, so it's, it's you know, pretty safe to say that we can kind of stick with, with, we'll go with like a floor press against chains. So typically it'll be three chains per side. We'll go, um, and I, I typically don't rotate, rotate the bars. If anything, I'll, I'll throw in a, uh, a fat bar or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, but like so this would be a competition bar. Yeah, almost, okay. almost uh, exclusively. Uh, it, it, if I start running into shoulder problems, I'll. I will either rotate bars or I will just deload and take the week off. But um, so week one will be a floor press. Uh, I will go to um, bench against red minis. I'll go red minis plus three chains. Uh, what else do we throw in here? Typically we'll go with, um, I will go with light bands at that point. And these are all doubled up. Mm -hmm. Here we will do a so a reverse average band, and then uh, we will go. What do we have here? Three, six. I'll do um, this. Will kind of be like a deload dumbbell bench, ten by ten, uh, and that could be anywhere from. If it feels like hell, just 50 pounds or all the way up to 100, 120, 130, you know, whatever, whatever for that day. So, so when you were looking here at this chain weight and this band weight, if you were going to program that for someone, what is, is that depending on the max? Is it a certain percentage? Is it by feel or how do you set that up? So even with, um, even with my training partners, if, they, if they're going to hop in with me, I'm not going to change. I'm going to leave that max effort stuff pretty much the same. Um, you don't want to get into now we're not you know a guy that benches 300 we're not going to throw him probably not going to throw in him under the light bands or anything like that because he's going to end up benching you know a plate or a plate and a quarter for for max effort stuff and i'd rather see him do you know just throw on chains at that point um as far as and that, kind of get into that too with the reverse average that might be a little bit too much for some of our guys um but the guys that i have that you know typically will split up the guys that come with me are, they can all handle this. Uh, so the cutoff might be a, you know, a 350 pound bench. Um, if you're, if you're under that number, then yeah, maybe this, maybe you need two chains on a floor press. Red minis are always fine. You know, maybe red minis in one chain, um, you know, maybe cut these out. So are you hitting triples, doubles, singles? So yeah, weeks 12 through six, these are going to be, you know, weeks one, weeks 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven. Um, going to try to work on some volume. So I will go by feel and the goal is to hit triples uh, for all of these. The, the, the amount of triples will depend on, again, how, how, how well I've planned out my, you know, my progression that day. Um, you know, my bite off more than I can chew on one set and I either got to back down or, you know, something like that. But um, I have an idea of where I need to be from previous training cycles. So, you know, I may try to hit like five triples here and uh you know maybe I'll, I'll start to back it down as i get heavier because mm -hmm. obviously with a reverse average band i'm going to hit i'm going to have you know six 650 pounds in my hand so you know you want to be prepared for that so you don't want to hammer volume uh you know through all the first six weeks mm -hmm. so maybe i'll go i'll go three by three um and here i might just hit one big triple and then back to um, anywhere from five to three. And like I said, this, it's, it's hard to pin down because I'll, I'll do it by feel. Mm -hmm. And then on this day, again, one big triple. And then this is obviously 10 by 10. So it's looking like of all these weeks, you're going to have the most weight on the bar on the reverse average band day. Yeah. Is, is that intentional to put it at the end right before the dumbbell bench? Do you do that intentionally? Yeah, because this, you know, you kind of want to, this is where, you want you want to go all out. That's kind of the you know you're not you don't want to necessarily plan for it. I mean you got to get as much work in as you can um, early on, 
But uh, yeah, if all goes to plan, then this is going to be your, you know, your big day, your, your real heavy day. Okay. And do you have a second bench day during the week? Is this the only day during the so week? So getting into like a speed work mm -hmm. through, I'll, I'll break speed down through a 12-week cycle, I'll break it down into four-week waves. And this is something, again, that I talked to Dave about, um, talked to Dave and Steve, and the plan has kind of changed a little bit. So what I had set out was weeks... Uh, 12 through 11, 10, 9, got to do quick math. Uh, I will go 185 pounds on the bar. That's for a, a 540 bench. Um, and I will go against red minis, again, doubled. So that's week 12, week 11, same bar, uh, same weight on the bar. And I'll go red minis plus one chain. Uh, week 10 will be the same, plus two chains. Week 9, same, same, three chains. So now, if I'm, if I'm, our chains are about 15 pounds a piece, so uh, 90 pounds here, red minis, I think anywhere from like, call them 60 pounds. So 150 pounds, um, 235, 335 at the top. Um, the, then following that, weeks, this is what I had planned out, which I don't know if I'm actually going to follow through with this part or not. Um, what do we got? Weeks uh, eight through five will be same. We'll do 185, same bar weight against light bands, again doubled up. The following week, we'll add a chain, chain, chain. So light bands I think are going to be about 80, 90 pounds. So we'll have 180 pounds of tension on the bar, um, 365 at the top. So we've added 30 pounds. So you've got your max effort work here on six week waves, and then you've got your speed work on four week waves that just fall in a different time than the max effort. Wave. Right. Okay. And if anything, if anything is, if I'm feeling beat up, cut it out. It's, okay. it's, you know, it's, I'm getting enough, you know, the typical conjugate method, this is your volume, right? Well, I'm getting enough volume here that, um, this isn't essential. Like I said, I, I am typically fast enough, so it's not, this isn't the, the speed isn't so much essential for me as it is just getting a second bench day in. Okay, so that takes you up to the last four weeks of your speed training. How does the heavy work translate when you get past week six? So when we go through, let's say five to one, um, weeks five to one. So here I'll hit, everything's gonna be singles for the most part. I may hit, so like, let's say I hit uh, four, 425 for my last triple. Mm -hmm. I may go 405 or 425 for a triple and then try to hit 445 for a single or something like that. Um, I won't get a ton of volume, so it won't be like five singles. It might be, you know, three singles. Um, kind of the same for everything else. Uh, I will work up to try to get about as heavy as I can, um, a, a true max effort movement on those last... Um, the last six weeks of the cycle. Uh, again, this will be the reverse average band day singles, but that will be one big single. That's it. Um, and that's the day I'm, I'm comfortable with missing. So this will be about two weeks from the day of the meet. Yep, yep. And I'll keep the dumbbell bench in there too um, as a deload. But then again, it, it will be a lot lighter. It's not gonna, I'm not going to have 100-pound dumbbells in my hands or anything like that. Because it's one week from the meet. Yeah. And so this here, when you get here, and this will be two weeks from the meet, this will be the heaviest day of your whole training cycle. How does that usually translate to what you expect to be able to do at the meet? If you, for instance, if you hit with a reverse average band of 600, what are you looking at for the meet? I don't necessarily look at how much the bands take off. and how. Right. I, what I will do is look at what I, what I benched the last time going into the meet before with a reverse average band and and calculator from there. Mm -hmm. So it might not be exactly, if I hit 20 pounds more this time, it might not be 20 pounds, mm -hmm. but I, I can bet it's gonna be 10. So, um, like I said, I, I'll get a better idea because through this first, these first six weeks, I don't wanna miss. I wanna get some volume in, I wanna, I wanna keep everything, not easy, but you know, don't wanna avoid grinders and mm -hmm. bad position, bad technique. Um, going into the meet is where, again, it'll be the true max effort. And I'm fine with, you know, if, if I push it a little bit too much or make a bad, a bad jump and miss a rep, mm -hmm. it's okay. It's the, right. you know. 
Okay, so what are we looking at? You'll get this day a week out, which will just be kind of a deload, right? Dumbbell benching day. What do you do the last four weeks for your speed day? So the plan was kind of go back to um, what we did the first four weeks. Mm -hmm. I was thinking I would add maybe go to 205, 225, keep the red minis, and go one chain, two chain, and then skip this last week again to you know to get ready for the meet. Um, in talking with Dave and Steve. I'm probably not going to do speed those those last four weeks. Um, I will definitely have a second bench day. It might just be a close grip to a board or you know something to just get some some extra tricep work in. Um, I'll definitely keep all the assistance work, all the the upper back. What do you those, expect the volume things. to look like on those days? High, low? I mean, in relation to what you're doing on the other day. So you know, if, if I do typical eight by three speed work, I won't I won't do over 24 reps. Mm -hmm. It'll kind of right. be similar to that. It might be three sets of eight or, or, um, or, you know, three sets of five, something like that. All right. Well, there you have it, guys.